today's video, I want to show you a lesson in Beast Academy math. Hey guys, it's Lonnie from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and I have been getting a lot of attention on my video where I posted a review of Beast Academy Math. Check it out here if you're interested. So today I thought I'd take you inside and actually do a lesson for you and with you. Okay, so the first thing I did was log in to my son's account. If you hear my fish tank bubbling in the background, the water's just a little low, so please ignore it and bear with me. And this is Beast Academy 3. So first thing we're going to do is go into the class and we are going to go into this lesson repeated edition. So the ones that don't have any yellow stars are the ones that my son didn't do. Normally you can't progress to the next level, but I unlocked it for him so that he could skip over these things because he already knew these things. We switched over to Beast Academy in the middle of the school year from Singapore Math. So the ones with the three stars means that he got three stars on it means that he definitely understands what's going on and there's an explanation somewhere here on what the stars mean one means he gets it he gets the lesson two means he gets it like above average and three means he's like really proficient at it so we go here and you have he has to complete all of these before he can take the test normally and then um, I like for him to get at least a two on his test before we move on to the next level. So this is chapter four, which is multiplication. Um, if we go back here, chapter three was perimeter and area. And if we move ahead one, chapter five is perfect squares. So we're going to go back here and go to repeated addition. So this is the first, this, this is the math lesson. And you have your little monsters, they all have their names and he knows all of their names and things like that. Um, it gives you the instructions, it says multiplication gives us a shortcut for writing repeated addition. Then it shows you this here. The sum of seven tens is the same as the sum of ten sevens. So seven times ten equals ten times seven. You can use repeated addition to solve multiplication problem to calculate three times six. We just add three sixes or six threes. And then it says click this little book button to review this topic in the guidebook. So let's say we go to the guidebook here. And then you have a whole comic here. So let's go over this comic. It says, I heard a clever riddle today. Does it involve albatross sandwich? An albatross sandwich? Nope. Then I'm interested. As I was going to St. Ives, I met a beast with seven wives. The seven wives had seven sacks. The seven sacks had seven cats. The seven cats had seven kittens. Kittens, cats, sacks, and wives. How many were going to St. Ives? Sounds like a lot of counting. Give it a try. To start, you've got the beast and his seven wives. Each wife had seven sacks, so we have seven plus seven plus seven blah 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 sacks that makes, and he has all the seven times table sacks. Each of the 49 sacks has seven cats. That's a lot of skip counting. Here goes. Okay, so I'm not gonna like read the whole lesson to you guys, but um, it basically the lesson is in the comic and it shows the pictures so that your child can really understand what the heck they're talking about. And they're funny too. The, the comics are pretty funny. Okay, and now this is the lesson. All right, so next there's a video. If your child still doesn't get it, he can watch a video. And this guy's great. We have a couple multiplication problems here. Now, there are a lot of ways to think about multiplication. One way is that this is how math beasts say add a bunch of copies of the same number. So this just means add three copies of five. Now we read this expression as three times five. Or we could also say it's the product of three and five. Or we could just say multiply three and five. Whichever one of those you say, it means add three copies of five. So let's do that. Add three copies of five, we get five plus five plus five. Five and five is ten, add another five. 
And our answer is 15. So 3 times 5 is 15. Sorry, guys. That's my one. one. 5 times 3. Now we're adding 5 copies of 3. Let's give that a try. 3 plus 3. Plus 3 plus 3. Plus 3. 3 and 3 is 6. Add 3 more. You got 9. Add 3 more. You got 12. Add that last 3. We got 15 again. 5 times 3 is 15, just like 3 times 5 is 15. Okay, so... Probably didn't surprise you, probably doesn't surprise You guys get the point. Like, I really like this guy. He really explains things in detail, and sometimes I'll get stuck with my son, and then we just play the video, and then all of a sudden, like, he makes it so understandable. Um, and he's pretty funny, too. So he has a whole video on some lessons if your child still doesn't understand it, and then they can get started. So then once they do this, so it says rewrite this addition problem as a multiplication problem, then solve. So then they'll, they will count the fours. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven times four, and then they can put the answer in, or they can click it down here. My son always clicks the numbers down here. And then it tells you if you've gotten it right, and We'll do one wrong so you can see what it looks like. So let's see, rewrite this addition problem as a multiplication problem. So we would do eight times four and we're just gonna put a wrong answer here just to see what happens. And, I'm, and so it says that's incorrect, try again. So we're gonna get it wrong again. Hope this doesn't count against my son's record. <laughs> okay, and then it tells you that you got it wrong, gives you the correct, the two that you got wrong, Oh my God, I'm getting tongue tied. It gives you, it gives the child two opportunities to get it right. And then it explains how to do the problem. Okay, so then they continue on with the lesson. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six times four is 24. Okay, so I had to keep going. Once I got to, so seven and eight were locked. And doing number seven got me a star. Now we'll do this one. One, two, two, three, four. And that got me another star. And then this is, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that is, I don't know. Oh, maybe because we got one wrong, we didn't get three stars. Um, but that's okay. So normally, if you get all of these, you get one star. Seven is another star. Eight is another star. That's how you gain your three stars. And that is a lesson in Beast Academy. I hope you guys enjoyed that do a lesson with me. That's Beast Academy. If you want the complete review, check out the video on the card above. And it is a great math program. We switched over it from Singapore Math. Singapore Math is also a great program. But I found my son dreading math every day. And I know he really likes comics and he really likes things on the computer. So I thought we'd try it. So we, Beast Academy allowed us to do a free trial. And my, we never turned back. So we, we love it. And so he is... He just turned nine, he's going into fourth grade, and we just started level three in the middle of that, of last year's third grade. He just started fourth grade. And we started Beast Academy like towards the end of his third grade year. But when you look at um, the age and the levels, level three is I believe for grades three and four. So anyway, if you go to the questions and answers, you can definitely find out where the levels are. Let me see if I can find it for you. Okay, so I found I found the answer for you. Okay, so it says, is Beast Academy a full curriculum? And it says it is. It's for ages 8 through 13. And then it asks, what level should I start at? So because their program includes challenging program, pro, I'm sorry, problems, we generally recommend that students start about a level, quote, unquote, behind their current grade level. So a student who is 8 or 9 should start on level 2. And then they have placement tests. Students age 9, where my son is, should begin at level 3. He was 9 when he first started. I'm sorry, he was 8 when he first started, and but he placed into level 3. So that's it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I post new videos. And I will see you next time.